It's always sad when we have to close on bad news, but we're gonna do it today. <laughs> New report comes out that shows, lays bare, like really stark portrayal of the effect that humanity has had on animal species around the world in a number of different ways. And I just wanna let you know how bad it is. This report that was put out by the UN's Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity, which you probably, you know, you have it bookmarked. But anyway, the report found that 25% of all mammals, more than 40% of amphibian species, nearly 33% of sharks, and 25% of plant groups are threatened with extinction based on these proportions, which by the way are the result of many, many researchers over a long period of time, all combining efforts found that approximately 1 million animal and plant species could die out, many within decades. And look, all of this is tied together, the animals you like, the animals you don't like. I personally am scared of sharks, and so it might be easy for a person to look at that and say, "Oh, a third of sharks might go, which right. is consequential. 25% of plants, that's serious, that seems like a big one. And um, thankfully it generated a little blip in the news that a million species might go. To put it in perspective, by the way, since the 16th century, humans have driven at least 680 vertebrate species to extinction, including the Pinta Island tortoise. The last known animal of this subspecies, a giant tortoise nicknamed Lonesome George, died at the Galapagos National Park in Ecuador in 2012. A subspecies of the Javan rhino went extinct, extinct in 2011, and the western black rhino and northern white rhino are extinct in the wild. Those things were news when they happened, and rightfully so. That's like three, we're talking about a million in the next few decades potentially. Yeah, I, there's not much you can say about it, except it's a, you know, it's completely tragic. And I think that the man-made uh, impact on this is, the, is what needs to be underscored. Mm -hmm. Because some people are saying, well, that's just sort of over the millions of years of existence of animals and then and what <laughs> they've all, I mean, dinosaurs died out and then new, new species came to rise. But this has been accelerated, and I think it's important to point out what scientists said, this has been accelerated to um, incalculable degrees by man. And yeah. That's where, that, so that also means it can be decelerated by man. Theoretically, yes. Yeah, um, yeah this is, this is effectively saying that over a short period of time, humanity's existence is like an asteroid hitting the Earth, effectively. Yeah. Um, and it, it's caused by a number of different things. So you have humanity moving into areas and pushing animal species out, uh, toxins, pollutants, and things like that, putting pressure on ver various parts of the Earth. Obviously, climate change is a significant part of it, especially uh, for those um, amphibian species and fish species, things like that. The oceans are heating thanks to our efforts, um, and there's you know deliberate targeting of of particular species, we've driven them to extinction purposefully. Um, and that is going on with a number of these right now. Bear that in mind when you see a big game hunter shoot down one of like 1% of all of a particular species. Um, but this is a disaster and I, I get, like you said, I, there's not much else to say, I suppose. And I guess that's part of the reason that you're not gonna have a 16 person panel on CNN about this necessarily. But I don't know, I feel like we gotta find a way to talk about it because this is, Pretty yeah. significant. 16 one person panels would be great. Exactly, know. yeah. Yeah, don't bring on Jeffrey Lord, bring on one of the people from the UN's uh, Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services panel, I guess. And, uh, or what, like if you have, just bring on Bill Nye or Neil deGrasse Tyson, have them talk about it. They're exciting and charismatic. But this is super significant. And like the news that we talk about, I get caught up in it. Very exciting and important political news every day. None of it, every, basically everything that I've talked about on the show this year in total does not, doesn't compare. It's not like, it's not like a, a candle, uh, does it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, the, the analogy. Um, compared to the, the significance of this. I had no this, idea what you were saying. I don't know, we'll get to it at some okay. point. <laughs> it's important, to read up on the report, there's a 40 page summary. Obviously the raw data is gonna be very difficult, but the 40 page summary is totally digestible, incredibly significant and keep the conversation going. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.